What's going on everybody? Tori Colburn, Midwest Conservation Agronomist at American Farmland Trust. Coming to you from the field today. I'm just out here doing a quick uh, weed walk on some soybeans. Decided I wanted to make a video. Let's talk a little bit about, about water hemp. We hear a lot about you know water hemp control, using the right product, the right rates, and layering residuals and those sorts of things. And I wanted to take a minute to just talk a little bit about water hemp math uh, and, and illustrate why why controlling water hemp is such an important thing and why why a little problem can become a big problem uh, in a hurry. So, and then I wanna talk a little bit about uh, how we can use cover crops to uh, fit into that control system. So, first things for, first, we're gonna make a, a few assumptions uh, about water hemp to right from the very beginning. Uh, the first one is that one water hemp plant can produce uh, between a quarter million and a million seeds uh, depending on conditions and competition and that sort of thing. So for, for the math, we're gonna assume a million seeds uh, per water hemp plant. Next, we're gonna assume that 20% of those seeds are viable and that only 25% of those seeds will germinate each year. So if we start off with a million seeds, 20% viability, 25% of those germinate, that gets us to about 50,000 plants uh, from that single water hemp plant. The next assumption we're gonna make is that if we get even up to 99% control with our herbicide programs, that's still gonna leave 500 escaped water hemp plants uh, out, out in that field. And let's assume that's, that maybe that's just in a single acre. Um, next, we gotta remember water hemp is a dioecious species. That means it has males and females. So let's assume that 50% of the population is male and 50% of the population is female. That leaves us with 250 plants. Now let's say each of those plants produces another 1 million seeds apiece. That means next year we've got 250 million seeds that have gone back to the seed bank. Next year that'll translate to 12.5 million plants and 99% control of those will still leave us 125,000 plants uncontrolled. So it's very easy to see why a water hemp escape problem can very quickly become a, a issue of water hemp taking over areas of fields. Uh, we've all seen that, chances are we've all battled that. So uh, I just wanted to illustrate why controlling water hemp can be a challenge and why it is very important. So for now, I just wanted everybody to uh, be aware of some of the math that goes along with water hemp control. So this field is about 103, 105 acres or so. Uh, this acre or acre and a half spot where I am right now did not get any cereal rye last fall. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you a little bit about what kind of water hemp pressure this area is experiencing right now. Um, this field does not have any herbicide on it yet this year. Uh, so it's a good representation of what of what the, the true pressure would look like um, because this field is naked at this point. Many of these are already three, four, five inches. Some of them probably pushing six inches. Water hemp's not the only thing here. There's there's lamb's quarters, there's velvet leaf, there's common ragweed, there's woolly cup grass, there's some giant foxtail. I've even seen some horse nettle out here. So next we're gonna walk out to the cereal rye and get a look at what it looks like out there. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about how cereal rye is helping to suppress weeds uh, in that section for us. Here, where we've got a good stand of cereal rye, I've, I've been walking for probably 10 or 15 minutes. I have not found any water hemp yet. Big thing, in my opinion, that is suppressing the germination of water hemp and thus the, the number of plants that we have to control uh, is just the, the, the sheer mat of rye that we're going to end up with here. Okay. Now, why is that? Well, we all know about how cover crops can regulate soil temperature because they're they're helping to protect the soil surface from uh, direct sunlight there it's insulating that we're not seeing temperature swings the cereal rye is actually acting as an insulator and it's preventing those significant temperature fluctuations in that top inch or so of soil so that the temperature is regulated much better so the water hemp seed most of that is going to germinate in the top quarter to half inch of soil and if it's not experiencing those temperature fluctuations, it's fooling it into thinking that it's buried deeper in the soil profile. And if it's buried deeper in the soil profile, it's biologically being triggered not to germinate because it says, well, I'm too deep in the soil profile. I, I don't have a chance this year. I have to wait, I have to wait till I can be brought to the surface. So the water, the water hemp 
just simply won't grow. We just simply reduce the number of uh, the percentage of water hemp seeds that are going to germinate that year. So then when we come back in with our chemical control on our herbicide program, we don't have as many water hemp that we need to control. And 99% of 100 plants is a whole lot better than 99% of 10,000. Water hemp has a very, very wide germination window and it will germinate. This is spring, this is the end of May. We've got plenty of water hemp out there already, but it has a very wide germination window. Uh, it'll germinate clear up through mid, late August, even early September, depending on your location, maybe even a little later than that. Um, so that's the other thing. Our chemical control programs, what do we hear? We get, you know, 21 days of residual activity, maybe a month uh, in good conditions. This cereal rye, when it's laid down and then when we've got a good mat, that's gonna give us essentially season long. This rye will probably decompose by late September, but it's gonna be there when we need it the most. It's gonna be conserving moisture. It's gonna be holding on to soil and it's gonna be suppressing weeds for us clear up into mid to late August. Again, be adaptive, be intentional, uh, but remember that cereal rye and cover crops in general uh, can perform a, a valuable function and weed control for us. So, thank you.